All right, we're going to do a little tour of Epic Games Launcher and Unreal Engine configuration inside of there. I just went ahead and launched Epic Games Launcher. Um, it should default to Unreal Engine over here on the left if that's where you left it when you closed it out, which is handy. Just a reminder, if you go into Settings, you can scroll down here, turn off Show Free Game Notifications, also turn off Show News and Special Offer Notifications. That will prevent the advertisements from coming in, uh, which I find nice. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, just a reminder, there's a library tab up here. This one is quite useful to you as a VR developer. This one less useful, uh, this one here less useful to you as a VR developer. So not this library tab, but this library tab. Okay, a uh, couple things. So when you first installed the engine, uh, a couple of assumptions were made when you did the install and we can actually go in and tweak those. Again, you'll see this little uh, carrot here. You can see you've got options, set current, create shortcut, remove, and verify. A reminder that verify will take many, possibly many hours to verify the health of the game engine, so don't click that by default, or by accident, excuse me, because uh, it could be a little annoying. Uh, this is a good way to remove a version of the engine if you need to free up some space in your drive or something like that. Um, create shortcut I've never used, uh, so not sure what that does. Uh, set current, um, since this is the current engine, that means, we'll go ahead and do that. That means when you hit plus here, you're going to get 427.2 um, by default. Uh, let's go into options, though. This is what I wanted to share with you. There's some ways you can free up some drive space uh, for future installs. Uh, I like the te templates and feature packs. I think those should be kept. Uh, starter content's also decent. I would keep those. That's the engine source. Uh, this is the core components. This is the bulk of the um, install here. Uh, this you don't really need unless you're a C++ developer. Okay, a couple things though. Uh, if you're developing just for Oculus Quest 2, you can turn off iOS here because you won't be building for an iOS device. You can also turn off Linux and that will save you about 15 gigs, which is handy. Uh, and all this other stuff is unchecked. So now you're at about 28 gigs uh, for the engine, which is not too bad. So let's go ahead and hit apply. And you can see it is reinitializing. And updating, you can see this is a little progress indicator here, the logo. I'm going to pause the recording while it's doing its thing. Okay, now it's cleaning up. It took a couple minutes. And we're back to initializing. And now we're updating. I think what this is doing is going through the two things that we unchecked, iOS and Linux. Cleaning up. And we're done, we're back at launch. So that just gave you back um, some space. And you'll see here, actually, your next download will be only 26 gigs, your next uh, engine install. So um, engine, uh, drive space for many of us is not as huge as we'd like it to be. Uh, so anything you can do to save a little bit there is good. OK, um, this is a just default VR project I created. If you right click on here, you can see open, show in folder, create shortcut, and clone. Um, if you click on this, uh, you'll launch it. Uh, same as doing open. Show in folder is good because it's really the only way to delete the project or get it out of this My Projects view. So if you go to show in folder, you'll see this project is here. And it's a little bit um, strange uh, for new uh, developers. You'll see in here you've got a bunch of other folders and the thing. If you delete just this, you haven't really deleted the whole project. You just deleted the U project file. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to back up one. 
And then if you delete this new VR project, you'll completely wipe out the uh, project. You'll notice the project here is not quite a gig. It's 690 megs. Um, so, you know, by default, your projects assume they're going to be a gig, something like that. And then when you do builds, they're going to get bigger. Um, I just wanted to show that because that is the way to get rid of it. Actually, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll get rid of this project. I'll hit delete. Hit yes. And you'll see it's still there. But if you click on something like Marketplace, Marketplace seems to be stuck. Let me go to News. I'll go back to Library. It's gone now. Um, so that just completely deleted the project and got it rid of got rid of it in the My Projects view here. If you have a ton of projects, you can start to search them. Um, kind of useful. Uh, okay. I, uh, GitHub source, you don't have to worry about too much. That's going to take you to the GitHub repo for the engine, uh, release notes, that kind of thing. Uh, release notes can be useful when new versions come out. You can go check out um, what they have to say about it. That is, uh, let me go to install plugins. Okay, no plugins installed. Okay, we're good there. I think that's a pretty good little tour. Um, actually, here, I'll go ahead and uh, relaunch the engine. So I can add a new project back in. Is it here? 4.27.2 is the editor. I'm going to pause while it's initializing. It's going pretty quick. Okay, we're back. Again, um, you'll have these four project categories. You'll pretty much always pick games, um, unless you're really doing something specific to one of these industries. Okay, games, even though maybe you're not building a game, but if you're gonna do something in VR games, is your way to go. And we'll do next. Okay, and I will say this, there's a couple of, um, other reasons to use Unreal Engine. Say you wanted to do some storyboarding or some gray boxing or something. Some of these um, templates, such as first person or third person, can be really useful for that kind of thing. Um, I may make some separate videos for that kind of stuff. But for a VR project, you're going to click virtual reality. And again, they give you a little tour of what that actually means, like what you get in these templates, uh, which is a nice little overview of what's in store. Click next. Again, don't get too excited and hit create project here, otherwise you're gonna have a, your project is just gonna be named my project and that's gonna make you mad <laughs> the longer you stare at it. Uh, you typically want with starter content here. Uh, by default, it's unchecked, but because we've loaded a project before, it knows what it, we checked last time, so with starter con content is checked. Again, you can path out, say you need to path out to a D drive or something like that on your hard drive, you can do that here. I'm gonna call it like, Cool VR project, and then hit create project. And now we're initializing the project. You're going to get this new plugins are available. You can dismiss that for now. And you're ready to go. Um, one thing you'll notice here that didn't have to happen is you didn't have to compile the seven and 8,000 shaders that you did when you first installed. So that is nice. You don't have that super long wait time. Anyway, here you are. You're uh, ready to start your VR project. That's a little mini tour of Epic Games Launcher and the Unreal Engine config inside.